Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good morning, good morning beautifuls. Oh, I know you've missed me because I have for sure missed you guys. So, I'm a little bit quiet because my sister's sleeping because it's about 20 to 8 in the morning. Um, and they're getting ready for school, I'm getting ready for school run. However, I just wanted to do my introduction now to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a little bit of vlogging today. I will be going to the hospital for my appointment at about 2 o'clock because I have dental surgery. So that is what I'm going to be vlogging. Um, I'm getting my left wisdom tooth removed. So they're going to cut open the gum and remove the top of the tooth. And then I think sew it back up or kind of just leave it to heal itself. However, that is happening today. I'm a little bit nervous, but I know God's got me. I'm going to say a little prayer before I go in and I'm sure everything will be good. I think I'm more so nervous because I'm going into a hospital and since this whole pandemic I've kind of kept myself to myself and not really gone to too much public places where I don't really need to go. Yes, I do a bit of essential shopping but that's in and out, in and out. I've got my gloves and my mask on. I'm going to be laying on a table, put to sleep and mouth open feeling very vulnerable, not knowing what's going on. Anyways, but I thought it would be a good little video just to kind of block the day. So I'm gonna be doing school run first, then I'm gonna come home, try and eat a little something, prepare myself, get my little bag ready, and then um, my sister and partner will take me to the hospital and then come and pick me up later on today. So in between of me dropping, getting dropped off at the hospital, to getting picked up there will be a gap because i'm not entirely sure that i'll be able to video during the process so i would have to kind of fill you in when i'm able to but i will let you see me after the process um hopefully my my sister will help video in to get the raw reaction of how I'm feeling after having a wisdom tooth removed. Um, leave a comment down below if you've had your wisdom tooth removed. How did you feel? How was the experience? Was it a quick re recovery? Was it a long recovery? What was the worst bit for you? Was it the actual surgery? Was it the aftermath of the surgery? Or was it the fact that you wasn't able to eat for some time? Because that's really my concern. Comment down below and let me know. Before I go anywhere or kind of cut the intro, please, my lovely, beautiful people, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And we'll see you in a little bit. So guys, we're off on the route to school run. Miss Man has decided to take the front seat and leave me in the back, but that's all good because then he can't get in view of my video. But yeah, school run won't take too long, and then I'm gonna go do a couple errands and go back home to have some breakfast, chill out before my appointment. Hey guys, I'm back here from school run. I've done the errands that I needed to get done. I am gonna make a little bit of breakfast. I'm just gonna have some bagel and a hot drink. Nothing too heavy. I'm not supposed to eat after 10 o'clock. However, I haven't had anything today and I needed something light because if I don't eat now, I'm not gonna be able to eat after surgery. So it's better I have something now just to hold me until later on and then I can have some soup that my kind, beautiful mother made for me, which was magnificent. Um, I tried it yesterday, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. So yeah, I'm just gonna have some breakfast and a hot drink and get myself sorted out, ready for later on. Uh, I think we're gonna leave out about 1, 1.30 to go and pick up my partner and then make our way to the hospital where they'll drop me off and pick me up later. So when they pick me up later, I have asked my sister to kind of take over the vlog for me. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be in a fit today, but we'll see. So stay tuned guys, we shall be back later. I am now en route to go and pick up Mr. Man and then off to the hospital. Hi guys. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm trying to keep my composure. I'm gonna say a little prayer before I go in and we'll see how it goes. Let's go. I'm finally here guys and I'm nervous. I got bubble gut. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. I'll see you on the other side. 
So guys, I'm back home. I've had my surgery. I literally was so out of it that I forgot to video <laughs> my reaction. But what I'll do is tomorrow I will include my sister into the video and she can kind of tell you what I was acting like because I FaceTimed her from the hospital. As you can see my mouth is still swollen. It's very sore and I've got stitches on the cheek as well as the gum. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take my medicine and go to bed and let you know how I feel in the morning. With that being said guys, I'm out till tomorrow. Peace. Hey guys, so it's day two of my wisdom tooth removal. I'm doing okay. In a little pain, but it's manageable. My only thing is I can't really eat or open my mouth that way because I've got stitches up on my cheek and on the gum and on the other side of the gum. I don't know if you can see, but my face is still swollen which is expected it's early day two i am really hungry my sister's been looking after me which has been a great help she's helping with the school runs and stuff like that but if anyone knows me knows that i am an active person and i can't keep still for so long for too long sorry so today i've done about two washings tidied up gone and done a little bit of shopping for the house and stuff and then came home just had a nice bath and I'm about to do dinner and have an early night I don't know if you can tell but I can't really open my mouth that wide I tried to eat soup today and I couldn't even open my mouth that wide to eat it and it was so delicious as well thanks mom for that To lick my lips is a mission as well. To actually swallow my saliva hurts. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a manageable kind of pain. I guess it's more sore and swollen than painful, painful. Anyway, I feel like I'm babbling. I'll keep you guys updated on the progress. Um, they did say it would take about two weeks for stitching to dissolve. Hopefully the soreness will subside before then. Um, hopefully the soreness will kind of die down before then. Because I really want to eat. But I've just been thinking about food all day. <laughs> Actually, since I came out of surgery, that's what I've been talking about. Can I eat now? When can I eat? How long do I have to wait till I eat? Do I eat? But I really don't want it. I want to eat, but I don't want to eat because I don't want to make it more pain, like more painful, or do any damage or cause any infections to it. So I'm just eating lightly. Um, I'm gonna have another bowl of soup and a hot drink in a minute. Um, but I'm going to sort out the food for those guys, for them guys first, and then I'll do mine. Um, so yeah, guys, day two is going okay so far. I'll keep you updated. Stay tuned. See you soon. So guys, I'm going to be attempting to eat soup. My mum made me a nice broccoli peas carrot potato soup very healthy lots of vegetables and i'm gonna show you how i have to eat because i really can't open my mouth no wider than this uh, so let me show you it's a bit hot
Oh, that was a little bit too hot. Oh. I noticed when I ate the soup earlier, sorry, excuse me, that it didn't really fill me up. So I'm gonna be attempting to eat it with some bread and butter just to kind of get the carbs, extra carbs in. However, I just wanted to show you guys how flat I had to kind of squish the bread to fit it into my mouth. <laughs> I know you guys must think I'm being extra, but I'm really not. So yeah, here we go. Oh. Mm. Oh god. I have a, I have a high pain threshold, but see, it's not really pain in me. It's just sore and irritable because it's in the mouth area it's just very irritable like when i eat food i want to enjoy my food and right now as lovely as the soup is i just can't enjoy it the way i want to This is delish. Thank you so much again. Oh, I'm just hoping that it doesn't last too long. I just want to eat a fat burger right now with some cheesy chips. Oh. Guys, let me sign off before <laughs> uh, I start sobbing. No, I'm joking. I'm not gonna stop. It's nothing. It's minor, but I love my food, innit? And if I can't enjoy my food and you know feel that spot in my stomach that is yearning for the food, then I'm just an upset bunny. What do they call it? Hangry. Even though I'm eating, I'm not eating a sufficient amount for me or my stomach to feel that we're full. So yeah. Anyways, that's all I wanted to kind of show you. Hopefully on day three, I can open my mouth a little bit more wider than I can today. Um, I guess moving the muscles and not having them still for too long will help kind of the healing process. I am also gargling my mouth out every two hours with warm, lukewarm salt water, which is helping. I haven't actually taken any medication today because it does make me drowsy. And because I'm not in any major pain, I felt like I didn't really need it during the day. I will take one before bed though, just, you know, sometimes I toss and turn in the night. So I feel like if I don't take it in the night and I'm tossing and turning, I'm going to wake up in more pain. So I guess if I take it in the night, it will kind of carry me through to the morning and hopefully I won't feel it as much. If I do, then I'll just take one in the morning. I've just got to do school run tomorrow. I'm going to try and take it a little bit more easier tomorrow. But yeah guys that is how i'm able to eat 
and how wide I'm able to open my mouth excuse me to eat morning guys it's day three of my wisdom tooth removal um, I'm doing a little bit better today I had two tablets last night so I slept kind of good I did wake up with my tongue feeling sore I usually wear teeth guards to bed because I grip my teeth but because I'm not able to put them in because of the removal I've been using my tongue as a kind of barrier from my teeth touching each other so like this so where I feel like I've been applying too much pressure in the night time I've woken up with a sore tongue and um, it hurts a little bit it's still a bit swollen as you can see and it feels like I've got a hole in my cheek to lick still to lick my lips still sore but I'm managing it's going all right I can't really complain um do excuse the background I haven't really made up my bed I had the electrician around eight o'clock and then school run and now I'm just about to have a hot drink to start my day off I'm gonna try and eat some breakfast maybe some wheat if it's because it's soft and I can just kind of gulp it down instead of having to do too much chewing I've got a few things I need to get done today oh my gosh I really can't believe I'm going on camera with my hair like this but you know what it is what it is guys that's just me you know? <sighs> allow me not often you see me <laughs> raggedy raggedy like this but anyways is what it is so yeah guys this is day three of my wisdom tooth removal um i don't know if you guys can know it is it still swollen yeah it is because i can feel it i just want to know how long the pain is going to be there for um when i say pain i don't mean actually excruciating pain it's just a soreness and irritableness that's just like left over and now i've just added my tongue to the list of irritableness because when I talk, my tongue obviously moves and rubs on my teeth. So where it's sore, I can feel where I've actually been pressing down on it over the night time. Don't know if I'm talking crap, I might be still under medication right now. But anyways, moving on swiftly, I am going to drink my hot drink, get some breakfast down me and start my day. Um, I think I'm gonna have a light lunch, like maybe some noodles or something. Something that's not too hard to chew on. Or don't have to do much chewing of. Yeah. And then I've got parents evening later, so hopefully they don't want me to talk that much because I'm not planning to. Mm -hmm. Don't I look a diamond in the morning, guys? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, let me go do what I need to do. I will talk to you maybe to later on today or tomorrow. See how I feel. Peace. Oh. <laughs> so guys, this is day three of my wisdom tooth <laughs> removal. I just wanted to bring my sister on to kind of give you a bit of an insight of how I was after coming out of surgery because I wasn't able to film my reaction or how I was feeling. So when I came out of surgery, obviously I had to wake up and then go into the room for recovery. During that time of me being in the recovery, I called my sister, my partner, who was at home waiting for me to call him to say, I'm ready to go home now. So, I know that I was a little bit upset. Hello, upset. She was just crying. <laughs> she was crying. And he was like, ah, ah, ah. and then, yeah. I remember, I remember I kept on asking, have you eaten? Has everyone eaten? Yeah, like treating us like babies, like bro. Like, we're good, didn't it? But that's just how I am in general anyway, I want to make sure then everyone's... Then she was like, oh, what are you not doing? So obviously at the time I was watching, was watching a film. She's like, well, I'm interrupting, so I'll call you back later. Like, I don't remember that bit, but I do remember... Like, oh, am I interrupting your time? <laughs> like, what? 
<laughs> what? Because I'm trying to talk to them and they're not talking back. It's like, why are you ignoring me? And my partner me. was just giving me one of them straight faces that, like, why is she calling? So I was like, why is he angry? He wasn't angry. He was into the movie. I was and just, she was just that like, like well. I was getting the fuck. <laughs> Really? I was just getting the vibe that they didn't want to talk to me in it. I'm like, I'm like, like, don't cry. Usually you'd have someone there with you when you wake up, but because of the pandemic and the COVID and all that, there wasn't anyone allowed to come upstairs to be with me. They had to, you know, go and come back and do their work, do whatever they need to do, then come back and get me. Anyways, I remember coming out of the surgery and I was laying on the, um, the bed and they had the heater on me trying to keep me warm and stuff. And then I woke up and I just started crying. And I just remember the nurse trying to dab my eyes saying, don't cry, darling, don't cry, don't cry, darling. And I she had, to be <laughs> she had an accent. <laughs> I don't know why I had to do it, but I just remember her saying, don't cry, darling, don't cry. And I was like, oh, when can I eat? I was just so hungry. So yeah, she was dabbing up my eyes, making sure I still looked pretty and on point. <laughs> and then when I, went, when I went to go and pick her up, she just looked like the saddest person about. Like, and then when I got in the house, I'm not gonna lie, I messaged mom was like, oh my gosh, she's moody. Did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you messaged mom, is that why she called? No, no, she, she called she would, doctors. No, because she called me before we came and got you. Oh. She thought it was um, done. But yeah, I was like, Mum, she's a bit moody. Mum's like, you're just staying in the boys' room. I was like, it's okay now. Well, how do you expect me to like be, but happy and cherry? I just had my wisdom tooth pulled out. But first of all, I, I hadn't ate since like 10 o'clock. My, I was supposed to go in at two o'clock. I remember going in at um, three forty-five. Yeah, three forty-five. Because I looked at the board, it was at three forty-five that I had gone in, and I didn't come out of surgery until like ten to five. That's, yeah, that was a long time then. Yeah, because I had to wake up. So I guess when I woke up, it was. I got in at 3.45, it was a 60 minute surgery. So we can go like 8 o'clock. Was it 8 o'clock? Yeah. No, it was about 7. It was like mm. 7. No, it was yeah, because, we back yeah, because before getting discharged, you have to pass urine, you have to pass urine first and they have to make sure that you're able to drink and take down the fluids. So as soon as I got out and the medication was kind of wearing off a little bit, I just went toilet straight away because I kind of just wanted to get out of there now. I wanted to go home. I was drowsy. I was tired. I was miserable because I was hungry as well. And I knew that when I got home, I wasn't able to eat what I really wanted to eat because I can't really move my mouth that much. Mm. But she's saying I was moody and miserable and crying. The nurses said that I was crying a lot. So I don't know why I was crying. But... Um, it happened. You know when you're under like medication and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. it, the whole thought process of like certain things. And I think because he didn't, sorry, I think because he didn't warn me that he was giving it to me because he gave me the IV, he gave me the antibiotics and then he told me, he told me that he's giving me the antibiotics for the pain relief, but he didn't tell me when he was going in with the sleep medication. So once I felt it start going in my hands, I could feel the stinging and the cold sensation. Then I felt my body kind of get pins and needly and I could feel myself going. And I rem the last thing I remember saying was, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And boom. She went back up. <laughs> then I woke back up in the recovery room with the everything on me, the nurse up, wiping my face. I was crying, I was trying to look up. Every time I opened my eyes and say one or two words, I'd be like that again. Then I was like, up again. Then I was like, then I was trying to get out and I just kept on. So yeah, it was a bit of an experience. But, um. No, I'm actually so annoyed for this pandemic. The amount of videos and pictures and stuff that she has me in hospital. 
I don't think that's fair. <laughs> she really wanted to capture me doing <laughs> to the influence, doing stupidness. And I kind of wanted it to be captured too. I really should have done it. But I felt like I just, I just didn't have the energy or the, to do it. And yeah, I was just crying. I remember the lady across the road to, across the way to me, she had two wisdom teeth taken at the top and the bottom. And um, she could hear me on FaceTime to my sister and my partner crying. She was like, are you okay? Are you okay? Beep, beep. Sorry. <laughs> no, beep. I'm not okay. I just had my wisdom tooth taken out. I'm bloody hungry. And now they got to wait for me to go wee wee before they can let me out. I was ready to just boom, boom, boom. I even got dressed with the IV still in my hand. Like, I went playing, I didn't bother putting my bra back on. I just put the IV through my t-shirt. I put my t-shirt on, put my tracksuit on, socks, trainers, got my jacket on. I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go. She's like, oh, but well, we got to give you paperwork. I'm like, really? Come on, girl, I'm yeah, ready to go. Anyway, so yeah, that was that. Look at me, I look different from this morning. I'm actually gonna try some food um, after school run and uh, see, how that goes see how that goes down. It's gonna be noodles today, I think. I had soup yesterday, but I've got no soup left. Really could have done with that today, but don't have any. So I'm just gonna make a little noodle bowl and um, see how that goes. Yeah. But I just wanted to say thank you for looking after me this week and um, doing school run and helping me out. Little sis, it's appreciated. Thank you to my love out there for being here as well. You, yeah, you're both appreciated. Cheese. Hopefully next week my face will have gone down a little bit more, but those drugs that they've given me, I like taking them before bed because they just give me a good night's sleep. Anyhow, the medication. The medication, the yeah. Drugs. Yeah. The medication, drugs, yeah. yeah. The art. Prescribed. They're prescribed. I can't even show you inside. I can't That's as further as I can open my mouth. It was so difficult to brush my teeth in that as well. Let's try and stick my tongue out there. What a nightmare. But guys, I love you, appreciate you. Thank you for supporting, thank you for watching. And I will see you later on for our food, eating up day food. I better stop being extra because it's really not doing my mouth any favors. Gotta go. Mm. Hey, it's day four of my wisdom tooth removal. Sorry, I didn't get back to you guys with the eating yesterday I actually ended up having a burger which took me ages to eat because I had to flatten it just to get it into my mouth but today I'm eating some noodles I still can't open my mouth that wide but um I'm, I am trying to eat as much as I can because I'm really hungry and eating slowly so I've just got some noodles It's okay to eat when it's soft food, but if it's hard, it hurts. But um, I'm managing, guys. I am managing. Today is a little bit better than the last three days, so I was still sore. Still can't open my mouth as wide. Um, can't really enjoy food the way I want to enjoy food but I'm trying my best to eat as much as I can because last night I was really hungry my belly was talking to me on so many different levels but going good so far guys good 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 I'm gonna try and eat the rest of this 
and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, beautiful people. It's been a week and six days since I had my wisdom tooth removal. As you can see, the swelling has gone down. I've got about one stitch left that still needs to be dissolved. However, I'm eating a lot more. Still can't open my mouth as wide as I used to, you know, to get brushing way back there and stuff like that. But um, getting there, slowly but surely, I think by next week, the ending of next week, I think I should definitely be fully recovered. I do want to apologize for the gappy gappy vlog. However, um, this is the end of it today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I a little bit annoyed that I didn't get to properly film my under the influence reaction when I came out of surgery, but you know, as you know, COVID's going on and um, no one was really allowed to come into the hospital. Uh, whoever was collecting you or dropping off had to wait in the car park for you to come out and so forth. So I wasn't able to capture everything. As you already know, in the previous video, my sister kind of briefly explained how I was. Yes, I was tearful. I don't know why I was tearful, but I was. As soon as I came out of surgery, I was crying and the lady was like, why are you crying? But anyhow, only the Lord knows why I was crying and what was going on in my mind at that time. But I'm good, I'm getting better, I'm excited. It's half term um, next week, which is balls. Can have a little lay in. But it's my youngest son's birthday next week, Wednesday. It's actually my older sister's birthday today as well. Shout out to you, girl. Happy birthday. But yeah, it's my youngest son's birthday next week. So I've got a lot of prepping to do. As you know already, it's COVID, so we can't have too many people around. So there will be a few family members invited and we're just gonna have like a little dinner, you know, cut birthday cakes, sing happy birthday, do da do. Um, and I will vlog the day as well um, because I'm gonna be doing lots of cooking. I'm gonna be prepping from the night before, getting up early and um, cooking in the morning before everyone comes and kind of prepping, putting up the balloons, banners, etc., and so forth. So I will vlog the day. Hopefully it will be a little bit better than <laughs> this wisdom tooth removal vlog. However, I will do my best. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, like, 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 like. Anyways, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. Oh, I really need to allow myself. I cannot sing, guys. I wish I could. That's one thing I actually wish I could. Back in the day, for those who know me and for those who don't know me, I was actually in choir. I was a soprano singer. How I made it to choir or made it in the choir, I don't know. Maybe because my auntie was a conductor. But I was still in the choir as a soprano singer. Can you imagine? The only way my voice sounds good is when I'm in the shower with my toothbrush microwave. Microphone, sorry. <laughs> uh, and maybe some earplugs in where I can't actually hear my voice. But you know how we do. Anyways. <sighs> time to sign out guys loving and leaving you till the next time peace